It's Thursday, August 20th, and the tomato harvest is beginning for the uh, sauce making process. Now this is a whole variety. Everybody, we got Defiance and Jet Stars and Early Girls and Supersonics and uh, the big ones on the top though are these Wisconsin 55s and I ate into one of those last night and it is very fleshy kind of tomato. So these are off the vine. A few of them are not quite red because they had hit the ground and I grabbed them. Uh, but uh, big, fat, happy tomatoes. And this is a big, fat, happy bowl. We're going to go make sauce. So the tomatoes get, well, rinsed would be fair. Then they get cut up in little pieces. And then they go into the squisher, the tomato sauce maker device, which I turn the handle and tomato sauce comes out. Yeah. Tomato juice. Well, it's kind of dubian, right? And then you boil it down and then make them tomato sauce. But, so this thing just gobbles up the tomatoes, sends the sauce out this way, and sends seeds the and seeds and peels and not all the flesh out this way. Now, that's what my life is like right now. And I'll send this stuff through at least three times more to get all the sauce out of it. Juice. The juice out of it. Well, the juice, but it's got gooby in it. What do you call it? Well, it's, it's sauce after you cook it down. Sauce after you cook it down. So the juice with all the particle goodness in there hits that. So we're going to do this for a while. And we'll fill this container up multiple times. And then we'll boil it down on the grill. I beg your pardon. So this is how it goes. Sauce in. Cutting up from there, into there, into there, and there, and from there over to here. Ladle it in. Find that pouring out of this bowl is almost impossible. Uh, it slops all over the place, so Pam devised the ladling method right there. There, Doc. Good job. <laughs> All right, that's good. All right, so the basic math is one of them big, that gigantic bowl brimming over the top full of tomatoes makes one lobster bucket full of tomato sauce. Well, this would be tomato juice, I think the Doc would say, which will become tomato sauce when we boil down two thirds of it. outside on the grill because what happens when you boil down tomato juice is you send a gallon or two of water into the air and permeate everything in your house so we do it outside and uh, I will use this magic wand to try to keep the bottom from getting any uh, buildup of residue and stir it and distribute the heat a little bit because it is a bit uh, yeah, it's not not, not as uh, free-flowing as water, but it's close. So, this will go on for hours and hours and hours. Hours of boiling down. I will be out here with the mosquitoes tonight boiling this down because the dock will go to bed. And that's how this works. Alright, 
So it's up to a boil, and because the weather is calm, I'm going to assume not much stuff is going to fall out of the trees, whatever that was. Uh, and so we're just going to leave the lid off and boil all this uh, water off. Now, the doc says that this gooby here is scum, and she wants it out. So um, I always thought it was good gooby that made thickness, but she said, nope, get it out. So tossing it into the yard, looking forward to mowing. Oops, kind of didn't get out here in time. But so that's the plan is to boil this down. And when it gets down a few more inches, because it does foam up a bit, we'll uh, crank up the heat even more. And so for the record, or somewhere between low and full blast. Tomato sauce. Well, tomato juice working on tomato sauce. Is it alright or a little more? A little more. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Alright, now we'll try to suck the air out of it a little bit. And then zippy. Mm. Okay. And then um, should I just try to wipe the... it down just to get some of the any of there's any be in the Okay, and then onto the pan for freezing. 